Today we're using Crayola Model Magic to do some hand building techniques with the white Model Magic. I stored my Model Magic in a Ziploc bag because I had previously opened this package and I didn't want it to dry out. It's a good idea to either wrap your Model Magic in cellophane or put it in a Ziploc baggie when you're not using it because it will start to dry out um, in just about an hour if it's left um, in the air. So, the four techniques I'm going to show you today are I'm going to make a ball, a log or a snake shape, a pinch pot, and a coil pot. So, let's start with ball. If you want to make a round ball shape, take some model magic, place it in your palm, place your other palm on top, and rotate your hand in a circular motion. Try to keep your bottom hand still and only rotate the top hand. You might want to look at it if it's too flat. Maybe use your fingers and push on it a little bit. Roll it some more. And you made a ball shape. Secondly, we're going to make a log or a snake shape. Again, model magic and your hands. That's all you need. You want to prepare your model magic by squeezing it. Take your hand and just squeeze. You don't want it to be shaped like a ball or a square or anything like that. There you go, but it's not very smooth and it's not very even, is it? So, take your hands, place them on top of the model magic, and roll them back and forth on a hard surface, like a table. See how I place my hands together? I'm pressing down and rolling, and then as I roll, I draw my hands apart, and the log or snake shape or coil gets longer. Voila! If you need it to be thinner, press and pull again. Every time you do it, it will get thinner. If you find that there's one spot that's thicker and you really want it to be even thinness as your thin spot, just roll that specific area and even out your coil. You'll find that this is very easy to do, and once you get the hang of it, you'll be a pro coil maker, or snake maker. So we made a coil, or log snake shape. We made a ball. Next, I want to make a pinch pot, or bowl shape. So, put the model magic in your palm, take your thumb, place it in the middle of the model magic, and press down. See how I made a little indentation? Now, get your pinchers ready, put your thumb inside and your fingers outside, and pinch. See how I made that wall thinner just by pinching it? Don't pinch it too hard or you'll go all the way through and make a hole. Now pinch and turn, pinch and turn, pinch and turn. If you keep it in your palm, it keeps um, a nice bowl shape. Pinch and turn pinch and turn. And look, we have a bowl shape. If you find that the bottom is too thick and you want to make it an even thickness as the wall, pinch the bottom and then feel the wall, feel the bottom. Try to make it even thickness. Pinch and turn, pinch and turn. Pretty cool, huh? If you find that there are some rough spots on the edge of your bowl, all you do is just smooth them over with your thumb. Or if there's a break in your bowl, say it looks like that, just press it together. Model Magic ad adheres to itself, or it sticks to itself. So it'll heal instantly. And in no time at all, we have a pinch pot. Our final technique will be to make a coil pot. 
just like we made our coil earlier, we want to make a whole pot out of it. So again, squeeze it into the prep shape, kind of like that. Squeeze it, take your fingers, put them on top, press and pull apart, press and pull apart, press and pull apart. You want an even thickness on your whole coil. So if you find that one part is too thick, concentrate on that part. Apply some pressure, spread your fingers apart, and you'll make a pretty even coil. I'm going to make mine pretty thin so that I can make a bowl out of it. If you want it thinner, continue to apply pressure and spread your fingers apart while pressing down and rolling the clay. It seems like a lot of steps to do at once, but you'll find that it's very simple and easy to do. Okay, I have my coil and it's pretty even thickness the whole way down. What I want to do is start with the center of the pot and work my way out. So I start to roll it in on itself like this. Kind of looks like a snail shell, doesn't it? Okay. Awesome. Now I want to start bringing it up so I curve it. See how my fingers right here are pressing so it curves? Model Magic is so cool and unique because it adheres to itself or sticks to itself. You don't have to slip and score it like a more traditional clay. It just sticks almost like magic. And check it out. We made a little coil pot or maybe um, looks like maybe a sticky bun or a beehive. You could make so many different things with this method. So you've learned how to make a ball, a coil, a pinch pot, and a coil pot. Try it with Model Magic at home um, and see which technique you like the best. Hopefully you'll learn how to do all of them so that you can make really cool things. Really cool sculptures. I don't know what I'm making, but looks kind of like some abstract art. Abstract art really doesn't look like anything real. Check that out. What if, what is that? It looks pretty cool. Maybe I could stick this behind it. I just made a really simple abstract sculpture. Now if you want your model magic to be colored, um, you can follow my demonstration for how to color model magic and turn it any shade you want.